I am currently homeless. I'll be crossing America all the way from Boston to Los Angeles, starting from nothing. That means we have to get our first order and deliver it by foot. This is a cross country speed run challenge. Here are the rules. Every dollar I make has to come from delivery apps like DoorDash, Uber Eats, and Instacart. We got our first order. We got to run one mile there and then one mile to the drop off. And then we'll have enough to use the public bike system. And I must use only the profits to cross the country as fast as possible, paying for food, hotels, and transportation. So basically, how fast can I go from being homeless in Boston to getting a one-way plane ticket and stepping foot in Los Angeles, California? How long will it take? Days? Weeks? You and me are gonna find out together because going in, I had no idea how long this was gonna take. I knew this first order was gonna be one of the hardest parts of the entire challenge because I had to deliver it on foot. I said it would take 27 minutes to walk, but it took me about 13 minutes running because unfortunately I had to walk the last quarter mile because I was exhausted. So I just gotta get Arrived. All right, it's been a while, I've been recovering. We now have enough to pay for the day pass using the bike system. $10 for 24 hours, and we're gonna use that to deliver now. Can't even tell you how good this feels to be on a bike. Let's go! I got my next order from DoorDash, it is $8. Now that I got my bike, my next step is to save up for an Airbnb. There's one for $60, I think I could get that by tonight, and then tomorrow, save up for a rental car. We gotta stick to deliveries less than three miles. Uh, I got it done in time, but I gotta take a break now. I was able to dock my bike, and as long as you dock it every two hours, then it's unlimited. You just can't use it for more than two hours at a time. But once I dock it and then start using it again, my two hours will reset, so that's not a problem. All right, so we got our next order. Another Instacart, $13. This one's actually super good. But what we need to do with this one is we need to go ride our bike over there. Luckily, there's a bike rack there. Go shopping and then go back to the bike rack and deliver it because I don't want to leave my bike unattended. Whoa. I got to find some free water. I'm dying. All right, this is what we're working with. Head north on Massachusetts Avenue. I can't sit. Oh, this is not easy. This is not easy. This is making it harder. Fortunately, I have to walk up this hill. This order brought me to $23.09, and being this early in the challenge, I need to spend my money wisely because a rental car is looking about $80 a day because I'm under 25. I need to find water. I don't think a lot of these restaurants give out free water. I was able to find a Starbucks, which is a go-to for free water. At this point, I've drifted too far away from downtown Boston, which is where I should be right now, instead of up north like I am. And I'm about to even go even more north, which is going to be a massive mistake. All right, so we got our next order. It is $6. This one came with a drink. Well, we got a drink carrier. Basically, the entire delivery was on an incline. And even though I had to walk up a hill, I had to go fast to avoid being late to the drop-off. All right, well, I've been sitting here for like a half an hour because morale is very, very low. I'm, I need to get to a different area because the area I'm in, there's a bunch of hills and it has been killing me. So I think what I'm going to do is I think... Uh, I don't even know what I'm gonna do. Let's see what I do. Do you guys have like a free water cup? After I got some water, I just started walking in a general that way direction. Luckily, I got lucky because at the end of my aimless walking was a pizza restaurant selling pizza by the slice. And even though I didn't have a lot of money so far in this challenge yet, food is what I needed. Let's go, let's go. While I was in the pizza restaurant, I got a $12 for two mile order. This is exactly what we needed. We we're back in the game. I was honestly thinking to quit it, but we, we're back. This is an easy ride. We're cruising. We're rolling. Bike police about to pull me over for speeding. We just dropped that one off and we got another $12 order, three miles. We're going. And as you can see, it has me dropping off right in Boston and the dinner shift is about to peak. It was time for me to make my return. Everybody get out of the way. Trevor's Deliveries is back in Boston. We got a $7 for one mile order next. Let's go, let's go.
Hey. We are legitimately making money right now. I gotta reload my bike and keep going. Get in there. What's... It's too good, it's too good. A double order from Uber Eats. We're back in Boston taking all the good orders, making all that money. <laughs> all right, this one I'll have to unassign because I don't want to leave my bike out here. And I don't know where the pickup is in there, so this is what it is. Kind of a waste of time, but I don't have a bike lock at the moment. So if it's too risky, I can't do it. Up here on my right is the Boston Common, which fun fact is America's first public park. Oh man, this is making me miss Boston, man. Seeing all these places that I saw when I was doing those legendary $700 challenge videos. This order was dropping off to a fancy looking hotel. Could be an apartment, I don't know. I got tip baited on it. I do believe it was actually my fault because one of the soups actually somehow ended up sideways, thus spilling a little. It could have just been packed like that, but sometimes mistakes are made. All right, we got our next one. $9 for three miles, $3 a mile. We gotta recharge just in case. This order was dropping off to a college and luckily there's a bike rack right next to it. I decided it was gonna be my last order of the day and I was hungry so I just walked into the store. It was like a Subway slash convenience store at the same time, I don't even know. I decided to go with the Pop-Tarts because they have a great calorie per dollar ratio. This pack of eight total Pop-Tarts for $5.99 amounts to 247 calories per dollar. Tomorrow the main priority is getting a rental car because I'm tired of this bike stuff. Even though that last, di that dinner rush was hot. It was hot. So I was able to book the Airbnb for tonight. We are good. I think I'm gonna call it a day for deliveries and wake up early tomorrow. We're gonna finish eating these Pop-Tarts and then we're gonna go to our Airbnb. Not gonna lie, my hands were getting insanely cold. I probably should have done more research about hypothermia before attempting this challenge. Unfortunately, this is the closest bike station to our Airbnb. So we're gonna have to do some walking. Luckily, there's one spot open. 14 minute walk. Guys, hit that like and subscribe button if you want to support this video series I'm doing because it took me an insane amount of time and energy to make. It looks like we're almost here, so let's check out this Airbnb and then we'll go over the plan for tomorrow. I realized in hindsight it would have been better to get a rental car at the 24 7 airport locations now instead, but the Airbnb does offer a shower and a bed, which we need after all that biking. So the total cost that we paid tonight for Airbnb is $15.07. I went with the pay later feature on Airbnb. I think it's pretty fair. If the app's gonna let us use that feature, we might as well go ahead. Basically, I'm leveraging my money by only paying the $15 tonight in order to get a rental car sooner tomorrow to make even more money faster. But of course, I'll still have to pay the remaining $45 before I leave Boston to complete the challenge. I also had a starter pack of some extra clothes and hygiene items that fit in a completely separate compartment in the bag. The plan for tomorrow Tomorrow is to wake up early, do some more bike deliveries, and to save up extra little bit money for the rental car itself. I don't know. I'm tired. Let's go to bed.